My name is Grace. Today, I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is In the Beginning, Creation of the World. Let's read. We lived in a beautiful world. Just look at the wonderful things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. So, we live in a beautiful world on Earth. And we'll go back and see what, who made these things and how happened. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the darkness and said, Light. He called the light day and he called the darkness night. And that was that for day one. So at the day one, God made heavens and earth. And God moved over the darkness and said, Light. So the day is light. Light is day and he called the darkness night. Night. Day. Night. Day. The God made the space to spare it. To spare it. The waters above from the waters below. He called the space guy, and that was that for day two. At the day two, God made a space to spare the waters above from waters below, and he called the space guy. God gathered the waters together, and dry, a gra dry ground appeared. He called the ground land, and the waters ceased. Then he made plants like grass, grains, and trees. That was that for day three. So God gathered the waters together. <laughs> And they became a dry land, and God called the dry space land, and the water ceased. And God made grasses, trees, trees, those things, and day four. Sorry. Question. What did God make on day one? Number one. The light and darkness. Number two, the trees. And number three, the animals. What do you think? Five, four, three, two, one. The answer was number one. God made 
the last Sunday on the day one. The God made lights in the in the sky. The, he made the sun for the day, the moon for the night, and all the stars. And that was that for day four. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry. God made trees and those things on day three. Then the God made lights in the sky. He made the sun for the day, the moon for the night, and all the stars. And that was that for day four. So God made the lights in the sky. The sun for the day and moon for the night and all the stars. Mm, and the planets also. <laughs> God has made those things. God made the fish to swim in waters and birds to fly in the sky. Have babies, he told them, fill the world with splashing and singing. And that was that for day five. So they got made fish to swim in waters and birds to fly at the sky. And God said, have ba babies and fill the world splashing and singing. Oh, there's a baby in the palette. <laughs> Next, God made animals. He made the farm animals, wild animals, and animals that crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make, God said the most special thing of all. What do you think the special thing? So God made the animals, the farm animals and wild animals that crawl on the ground. What do you think the most special thing is? So, in his image, God made the man and woman have babies, he said, and look after this world, care for the fish and the birds and the animals. And that was that for day six. So, at the day six, God made the most special things. Person, God made us in God's image. And God said, took care of the animals and have babies. Question, were the animals the most special thing God made? No. The most special thing was the person as that God has made us in his image. Then God looked at everything he had made. It's very really good, he said. So on the seventh day, he rested and made that day special. And that was that. So then God looked at everything that he had made and he was so... He thought it was so really good. And at the seventh day, he rested. 
and that make that day special. Hmm. <laughs> Question: God does please split his creation, and he rested on the seventh day. Turn. Yesterday we read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? We read the end of the beginning. Then let's see you next time. Bye.